What's up guys, Shoplan here. In today's video, we're taking a look at Citisplay. Now, Citisplay for you guys that are new is probably one of the most useful applications for your Fire Stick and Fire device, but also works well on your other Android boxes and your Android TV boxes. Now, basically it's a remote control you can use to navigate your system, but also it does a lot more. It does have five modes to control your device. It also has the capabilities of casting, and we can also install applications directly from Citisplay. Now, in this video, we're gonna do a quick installation. We're gonna run through some of the features, test a couple things out and just see how it works over Overall. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Now, for you guys that are new, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please smash that subscribe button in the top right. Also, hit that notification bell. That way, when a new video or giveaway is released, you will be notified. So, installation is pretty straightforward. All you need to do is go over to your Play Store, you'll search for Sit Display, and you'll see two options. Now, the first one is the actual application for your mobile device. So, install this, and of course, if you're on a Fire Stick or Fire TV, you will not need to do anything else to get this working. Now, if you're on another Android device or compatible TV, you will need to go down and you'll need also the companion app to install on the receiving device so you will need a sit display tv and once you install this you should be able to see that device and perform the same function so today i will be demonstrating on my fire stick so we're going to install the sit display remote we're just going to go ahead and open it and we're just going to allow it for right now so I'm just going to leave it on this screen. I'm going to head over to my fire stick. And one thing you need to make sure you do, guys, is you want to go up to your settings and go all the way down. You want to go to my fire TV. You want to go down to developer options. And these two options, you want to make sure they're turned on. So ADB debugging as well as ask from unknown sources. So switch them on. Ask from unknown sources, you will see this pop up. Just click turn on. And that's all you need to do for the fire stick. So let's head back over to the phone. We're going to click get started. Does have some limited ads guys. I'm just going to go no. And here we are. So now you can see all the devices that it's picking up on my network. So you can see there's a fire TV. There's actually two fire TVs. There's a shield. It's also a smart TV that's compatible. And you can also see I got a pop up on my fire stick guys. So what I'm going to do is just click allow just going to click allow from this computer I'm going to click OK so if you do have multiple devices like I do it's good to know the IP address of the device you're connected to so I know the IP address for the one I'm connected to is the 192.168.1.15 so I'm just going to click on that And we just give it a second here. And there we go. So set display. And now there's a pop up with a verification. And there's a four digit code. So we're just going to put that in. It's 92, 91. Click OK. All right. So just some information. Let's go ahead and go back out of that. And there we go. So you can see working very well so if you guys are in a bind where you lose your remote this is a great option so there's a lot of different things you can do on this guy you do have five different modes so we're in d-pad mode right now we have a home button right there we also have menu we have our ram so you can boost your ram basically killing the apps in the background and you do have the back button second mode is the touchpad so in this mode, you can kind of drag to where you're going, guys. So let's go all the way over the apps. I'm going to click on see all. You see I'm dragging down. Click there. Just want to test out the keyboard. So click on the keyboard, guys, and look at that. Wow. www.yahoo.com. All right. So pretty cool. So that was the touchpad mode. Let's try the mouse mode. Mouse mode may not be compatible with some devices. Please grant. Set display required access to function properly. So 
we'll just skip that for now so look at that guys all the apps that i've played with i've never been able to pull it off where you see an actual mouse or cursor on the home screen so how cool is that so just double click there and you can see it launches it and this is truly amazing and same thing go to type the keyboard does pop up on your phone and you can go ahead and input your data i'm going to hit it again we're going to check out the numeric keyboard all right so if you guys are into iptv or you have an iptv app on your device you can go ahead and use this to input channels you do have your volume up and down you still have the navigational buttons right here works pretty well pretty responsive have the home and the back button as well so we also have a gamepad mode let's click on it all right so <laughs> this is amazing so do we have a navigation in the form of a joystick this is a virtual joystick but you can see the responsiveness works pretty well do we have a start select do we have buttons right there and this is something i'll probably try out on nvidia shit a little bit later with one of the games just to see how good it is and let's go over to the main menu in the top left. So if you click on that, guys, uh, one thing to note about this application is more than just a TV remote. It does have a cast function. It has an app center, uh, apps that you can install directly from your phone, uh, cleaning tools, YouTube cast. It does have a lot of different options. So let's try to run through them. So first thing, you have the remote, which we just went over. You have the option to play on TV. So you can do local videos, local pictures. Let's go ahead and try it out. So let's go ahead and we'll try out pictures. We'll click on that right there you can see it cast instantly guys go to the next one to the next one next one you do have a little remote button right there if you click on it you can see you have different tools right here so you have your voice you can navigate as well you have your menu you also have your back button do we have some footage of the hurricane when it came through So that was the video cast function. For the most part, it looks like it works, but some of the larger videos does have a hard time playing. So that was play on TV. Let's head over to the app center. So nice area, you can see the featured applications. You can see the apps that I already have installed as well as apps that you can install directly from Citus Play. We also have trending and we also have categories where you can browse. So let's go to featured. And for instance, I do have Cody installed. I have Mob Drill. You can see I have MX Player. So for instance, if I wanted to launch MX Player, all I have to do is open it. And you can see it's opening right now. Look like I have an update available. All right, so we do have US TV. Let's go ahead and install that. And you can see it's installing right there if you look in the bottom right. So we'll just give it a second. Once it's installed, we'll go ahead and try to launch it directly. Click install. And there it is. It is done. Let me just hit home. I want to go ahead and launch it from the actual Citus display application. So let's go back down. We're looking for US TV now. And there it is right there. Let's go ahead and launch it. And you can see US TV opening, show Citus display. So the next menu is my apps. And these are basically the apps that are installed on my Fire Stick. So a lot of cool options from here. So for instance, if I wanted to uninstall one of these, all I have to do is do a long press. So let's go ahead and we'll try it out with HD movies. Do we have the option to move it to the top to hide or to uninstall? We just uninstall it. And you can see at the bottom right there, it's saying it's uninstalling this application from my device. Next one, we have a link transfer. Gives you the option to transfer links to your smart TV. Pretty cool. We have a clean master. So basically, it goes through your device. It starts scanning, finding dead links, junk files, old APK, stuff that you don't need, and just basically clean it up for you. Help your device run a little bit faster. We do have a screen capture. All right, so basically we'll just start recording what's on your screen. And so if you guys do inclined to use that feature, it is there. We can search the cast. We do have our YouTube application. Let's go ahead and click on that. And we'll just search uh, Triple M here. And we'll go ahead and start playing it. And button right here in the middle, guys, all you have to do is click on it. And it will go ahead and start playing on your device. We do have a live channel option. And this, if you guys wanted to import your M3U playlist, you do have the option to do that. Cool feature. Do we have tutorials, settings, 
feedback and all the way to about. So that's it for this video. Just a quick run through of the Sit Display application. When it comes in handy, it's fun. If you guys do have a Fire Stick, uh, you can install code. You can install any application directly from your phone onto this device. Also, if you guys lost your remote, if you guys have another Android device, this can come in handy. Casting functions are really awesome. I do love the remotes and the different options that it does offer. So if you guys have any questions about this video, drop them in the comment section below. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thank mm -hmm. you.